Welcome back boys to another Epic 7 Hero Review. Today we're going to talk about Champion Zerato, the man himself. Fantastic hero, I use him all the time. As always, we're going to discuss his skills first. So, his S1 is amazing. It attacks two enemies with an Earthen Blast, and it transfers two debuffs from Champion Zerato to the enemy. So if it hits two people, it'll transfer them to both of them. And it also heals him proportional to his health, and the heal is actually decent. You can also put him on lifesteal for even more healing. His S2 is what makes him, though. At Max Mola, you have a 100% immunity to stun, sleep, and decrease hit chance, and a 100% chance to counterattack if Champion Zerato is debuffed when attacked. The attack doesn't have to be a debuff attack. If Champ Zerato has any debuffs previously, even an attack without debuffs will trigger the counter, or an attack that causes a debuff will trigger an automatic counter. His S3, it attacks everyone on their team with a bunch of boulders, and at Max Mola, it has a 75% chance to defense break and decrease their attack. On top of that, it gives Champ Serato increased defense, really helping his survivability. If you soul burn it, it ignores effect resistance, but remember, it's 75% chance, so even though it ignores effect resistance, it could still completely brick. Like, you'll notice this bottom thing didn't get defense broken. But the main part that makes him special is that S2. That lets him counter with his S1, and remember, his S1 transfers debuffs. So if you attack Champ Serato and defense breaks him, you immediately counter and send that defense break right back. One thing to note, though, is that if it doesn't transfer, it remains on Champ's Rado. Like, let's pretend this totem pole had immunity. If I countered him after getting defense broken and he had immunity, it would not transfer, so the defense break would stay on Champ's Rado. This is why Violin is so good on him. We'll go into that into the next section, Build. Alright, so how do you build Champ Zerato? Pretty straightforward. Mine's not the best build, mine has too much attack, but I would say aim for around 3,000 attack, 1,200 defense, 14,000 life, as much crit chance and crit damage as possible, and 100% effectiveness. Mine's a little on the low end. The reason my Champ Zerato's gear is kind of weird is because I'm using the Abyss 88 gear, and all of it is attack main stat, so his attack is kind of disproportional. I don't have any defense or health main uh, lifesteal gear. If I did, I'd switch him to that because you do want him to be a little bit tanky so he doesn't get sniped instantly. So I would say those are the stats to aim for. 3k attack, 1200 defense, 14k plus HP, and as much crit chance, crit damage, and effectiveness as possible while maintaining those stats. Lifesteal set is very good on Champ Serato because you want to give him some sustain. He has some from his S1 built in, but Lifesteal set really adds to that. So I would highly recommend Lifesteal set but if you really have, if you don't have good life steal gear, you can just put them on offense like triple health or health and defense or even destruction or something. You can really use any set on Champ Serato as long as you maintain the stats that we discussed. But make sure you make yours tankier than mine. Otherwise, he'll be a little bit too squishy in actual like RTA gameplay. For artifacts, there's really only two choices. My preferred one is Yellow Violin. At plus 30, has an 80% chance to dispel one buff. You really want this because immunity is game-breaking for Champ Serato. The one good thing is he never gets rid of the debuff, so he counters 100% of the attacks. The problem is he'll eventually die if something like a defense break sticks on him. So you really want the Violin to help you transfer the debuffs back. The other option that's popular is... Abyssal Crown. Abyssal Crown counter is devastating. I know everyone hates when they get Abyssal stunned. It's RNG and it loses you a turn and it can totally cost you the game. If you don't have either of those, budget options are Siraren. Siraren has a lot of debuffs, which is also helpful. So if you don't have Abyssal or Yellow Violin, get Siraren. But really, everyone should be able to get Violin because it's now in that exclusive shop, whatever it's called. Um, you can also kind of use Chatty, but I would recommend against that. Chatty is that mage artifact that um, puts up a shield when a mage gets attacked. I'm not even going to look for it. It's really a budget option for PvE or something. In general, stick to Violin, Abyssal Crown. If you really don't have those, use Sierra Ren until you have them. 
So now everyone's favorite part, let's see what Champ Zerato can do in PvP. Alright, so let's see Champ Z in PvP. Is he good? He's freaking amazing, but it depends on what he's up against. Against teams with a lot of debuffs like this one, like Tenebria, Cerise, Seaside, FCC, they all have debuffs. Champ Zerato is very, very strong as you're about to see. So we're going to bring this two-man squad against this comp and let's see what we can do here. So they all have immunity, actually. But Champ Zerato should send this back. And he does. Sends it back to Cerise. Doesn't strip the invincibility, though. Now Tenebria does this. Defense breaks. I can't send it back because they have immunity. That's one thing that Champ Zerato struggles with. And Troublemaker actually got stunned. Hmm, what should I do here? I need to get rid of this defense break, but I also need a um, defense buff up because Troublemaker got stunned. Alright. Perfect. Troublemaker's dead, but I send back the defense breaks. Now SSB does this. So that started off dicey, but now Champs Rado's going to go on a roll. Counters this. Seaside is dead. Cerise tries to stun Champ Z. He cannot be stunned. Provoke. No dice. Send that right back and heal. Now their whole team is provoked. We'll do that. We'll heal. Tenebri is dead. Decrease defense. Send that back. Provoke. Send that back too. We don't want any of that nonsense. Attack this FCC. And look. He hard counters FCC because she just keeps provoke bombing him and he just keeps countering and healing. Provoke. Whap. Whap. <laughs> provoke. Whap. Whap. Now let's do this, get our defense buff up. And hopefully we decrease defense so we do enough damage on a counter to kill her. There we go. Provoke. Whap. Whap. And there we go. This is why Champ Zerato is such a strong pick and RTA is very popular as well. Against debuff heavy comps, he is just an absolute monster. Alright, let's try another two man against a debuff heavy team. This one's a Basar, Araminta, Spez, and Helga team. So let's see how Troublemaker performs against this. First of all, let's send back the unbuffable. Hopefully he doesn't crown my Troublemaker. There we go, he resisted it. Send that back. Helga gives her whole team attack buff. Araminta will try to stun and burn my team. We'll probably stun Troublemaker, but not Cesarado. Send that back too. Araminta's almost dead. And Troublemaker is dead deado because he's stunned. But no problem. We'll send back that weakened attack. Now we get up defense buff, and Cesarato can't lose this. He's going to 1v4 them with ease. Defense break? No thank you, you could have that back. You want to give me debuffs? No thank you, you can have that back too. And blam, <laughs> yet another team absolutely ravaged by the power of Cesarato. So do not bring any debuffers against Cesarato. You just saw what happens to you. So now you guys have seen what Champion Zerato can do. As always, let's summarize this video and give him the Dr. Squirrel ratings. Number one, is he good? Absolutely. He's very, very top tier right now. So Arena Offense. You know, the thing about Champ Zerato is all these ratings, you have to keep them in perspective because he's really god tier against certain teams and useless against others. So assuming that you're targeting the right teams on Arena Offense, he's an S because you wouldn't bring him against any team that doesn't have debuffs. So an S against teams with debuffs and like an F against teams that don't have any. Arena Defense, he's like a solid A because he kind of stops people from hitting you with like Basar Offenses because he can send back unbuffable and really screw with them. So he's pretty decent on arena defense, but you know people will just work around him, so not the best. Um, Guild Wars offense, also an S, because like dizzy defenses, you could just neuter them with Champs Arado. 
Guild Wars defense, an A, same weakness as Arena defense. He's very strong against debuffers, but no one in their right mind would bring a debuffer against Champ's Rado. But if that's what they have built, it prevents it, so it still has some value. And in RTA, he's a hard S because basically it's a mandatory ban against people trying to go debuff heavy team. So if someone picks like a Basar and a Dizzy first pick, and then you pick Champ's Rado, you know what they're going to ban because they don't have a choice. Because as you saw in that arena clip, Champ Zerato will neuter teams if you keep landing debuffs on him. So anyways, that's my Champ Zerato review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed that PvP showcase. And let me know what hero you want reviewed next. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace out, guys.